Hi everyone. Today we will see continuous RPA deployment. Especially how we can do location production environment deployment. How the checklist will go. So everything we can describe, we can see here in this video. In last video, I was explained how what are the stages available in production, how the stages will be occupy the environment, how the SAT will work, how the VAT will work, how the deployment logo will work before the mini go live or else production so I was explained based on the structure in production environment in this video we can see before moving to production or deployment how the bot will behave what are all the scenarios we have to capture before moving to deployment server and deployment and production stages see once before moving to deployment the first step we have to do is database script and schema this is the initial thing before we are moving to any environment, maybe SAT, maybe you are in VAT or production database script, which means you have database tables. So, entire database. script tables procedures it all part of the initial stage of moving to deployment so once we one more thing we want to do is backup when we take the data is still we must take the backup plan which means deliver script so what is reverse scripts so I'm taking script in the VAT environment I want to restore into the production database so when I restore the table if any errors happens what I need to do I have to plan the backout or reverse which means if anything happens in the table I will put delete table table name so So nothing will happen I will revert into the initial stage so this is very important when we talk about production okay let's see okay this is the one thing so database is applied to a supported version of password server So before moving to other tab has to be suppose you are working on VAT so your product moving into the production so VAT Windows Server same as 
because VAT window server has 12.0 same version must be available in production server this is the pre-request before moving to any deployment Okay, what is next step? To configure as per recommendations, the color color and sufficient space, yes, below settings. Yeah, this is very important. Growth settings is very important because today. You are updating or send or uploading a file into production server. So your bot is running continuously. Suppose you have today 10 MB file uploading. For example, your 10 MB file is uploading in production. So in every day bot will run this 10 MB it will move to 1 GP within um, 10 days within 10 days. And within 30 days, 30 GP, 3 GP, so it's growing and it's, the growth will be enormous. So, in the stage, RAM settings, sufficient space, it's needed in product environment, both database and physical server. And so this is very important thing. Yes, what is next? Authentication. So authentication is very important. Authentication is the main thing for the environment change. So when we talk about authentication, we have Windows authentication, SSO enabled, which means single single sign on. So when we talk about single sign on, there is no need of bot ID and bot password. So bot will take Windows credentials and login into the application. Bot will take Windows credentials. The login screen will be passed out. So login screen will not come in that situation of single sign on. So, what will continuously work on screen 1 or page 1 in any application? This is the single sign on method other than Windows authentication. So, this is very important in board settings. Yeah, the next thing is connections. Connections to the database are forced to be secure. Yes. How the connection must be secure? See, when, when we talk about connections, you have to make sure, you have to make sure, integrated security of your connection stick. That is very important. And when when you talk about connections, it must be authentication based. Authentication based. So and connections must be secure. So without the secure connections.
production environment a lot of issues will happen so that is the main thing and prerequisite before moving to product environment so we have to make sure not only the code level we have to make sure entire component level when we talk about the client part what about next the database structure and schema has not been subject to customization or modification which means so when we talk about database structure so database has main structure of tables procedures views or functions and authentications and uh, login or uh, database owner or else table owner what are all the what are the admin rights ado objects so everything would be the part of database structure and schema so it in when we talk about production it is not customization or modification whatever the schema is available in previous environment which means it is in vat the same will be available in production and one more thing is database schema is set to dbo virtualized which means see when we talk about production schema it must be in mirroring also which must be in mirroring and if anything happens in one server Suppose log files or log through or MDF, LDF, copy and backup. If anything happens in certain server, the same will be happening in other thing also. Other data the server also. So it is the recommended one. And one more thing is the third thing is we we have to. Surely, we talk about disaster recovery servers. Disaster recovery settings. That is main component. And pre-request whenever we talk about deployment, whenever we talk about production, this main components disaster recovery settings. Disaster recovery settings will be happen in both database and physical servers. Yeah. So this is the continuous so this is the continuous one. And whenever we talk about uh, this thing, this is the continuously disaster recovery is the most important settings in production and deployment. Okay, these all are under architecture based. In next video we can see how in deeper the environments specifically. So the problem only is not about the files and folders and the code and uh, some other configuration. It's all about first high level settings. The second thing is ports, first uh, code, backup, recovery, everything will come under second preference. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.